Welcome back to another video. Uh, I won't lie, I've already been through the car boot and all that. Um, so yeah, found some good stuff. Um, so I'll show all the clips now, but make sure to like the video, subscribe if you're new here, follow my Instagram and my Depop. I'll put it down there at the bottom of the screen. Message me on my Instagram if you are interested in wholesale and I can definitely sort you out. So yeah, like the video, make sure you watch the first half, see everything that I find at the car boot. And then after that, I won't do an outro. I'll just go back home and we'll go through everything that I found, what I paid for it. And yeah, should be a good video. I've got lots of footage, lots of Burberry, a couple of vintage tees. So yeah, just enjoy the video and I'll see you at home. How much are the shoes? Seven. What about the tees? Shoes? Seven. Seven. How much have you got in the shoes? Seven quid. Seven quid. Oh, I'm not getting out of my bed before. Yeah, I'm not getting out of my bed before. 
How much have you got in the trenches? 50 each. 50 each, what about the jacket? Can I have a little bit? Yeah. Well, 50 a piece, you say? 50 a piece, yeah. Excuse me. Which is the box? Uh, 25. That's about, I mean, my friend in, in Camden told me it's about one and a quarter, 130. Yeah. We do 130 if I did buy them all? 135 I do. Yeah? Yeah. I'll do that. I could buy that because yeah, I yeah. So we're back home, we're gonna go through everything that I found. We're gonna start with the accessories and then just go from there. Starting off first with the accessories, an old 90s San Francisco 49ers cap. Just got that spelled out on the back. With the classic green under brim, uh, I paid a pound for it, probably at 10 to 15. It is a bit battered and needs a bit of TLC. Then I found an old 90s Berghaus rucksack. You can tell it's old just by the logo. Um, it's fully embroidered, I paid a fiver for that. Probably more of an eBay item, maybe 20 to 30. Um, I'll probably end up just keeping it and putting it to the side somewhere. And then the final accessory that I found is probably my regret buy of the day. It is an old Vivian Westwood tote bag. I think you call that a tote bag or just a handbag. I got it off a dealer, an antique dealer. He says it's from the 96, 97 um, Vivian Westwood collection, but I need to have a look and do a bit more research on it. Uh, he was asking for 50 pounds and I managed to get it down to 30, I think. Um, but I think I regret buying it just because it's not my sort of thing that I'd usually buy, um, but I really liked it for some reason. So I bought that for 30. Hopefully I'll get around 50 to 60 for it. Um, I need to do a bit of research. It might be more of an eBay item again. Uh, but yeah, got that one. That's just the back of it. Just got that sort of nice pattern and then just really cool detailings. Then we got the shoes that I found. First pair, just an early 2000s sort of women's um, silhouette from 2008. Uh, I paid, I think three pound for them. Nothing too crazy on them. Reckon I'll get 20 to 25 on Depop. Um, just one of them really cool sort of 2000 silhouettes. Little swoosh on the front. The next shoe that I found was a pair of Air Force Ones, fully black. Um, I paid seven pound for them. Usually get 30 to 35. I don't think they're too old. Actually they are a little bit old. They're from 2013. Um, so they have got a bit of age to them and they're actually in really good condition. You can see how sort of unworn they are. Uh, but yeah, as I said, 30, 35 pounds all day long. And then the final pair that I got were these Jordans. Um, I don't think I've ever picked up a pair of Jordans, but I think these are sixes. I could be completely wrong, but correct me in the comment section if I am wrong. Uh, but again, I paid seven pounds for them. Hopefully get 20 to 30 on them. Moving into all the bottoms that I got, the first were these D&G women's denim shorts. Just got the D&G hit on the back. Um, I paid, I think it was a five of them. I basically got them in a deal with one of the Burberry jackets. Um, but I think I ended up paying like five or six pounds for them altogether. Hopefully I'll get like 15 to 20 on them. Next I found these Dickies cargo pants. Uh, they are a 36 regular. Paid seven pound 50 for them. He was very stern on the price. Um, didn't want to do seven pound, six pound, five pound. Um, but yeah, that's pretty fair. Seven pound 54 brand new Dickies. Usually you sell them for like 15 to 25, I think. If there were tags, I think that's pretty fair. And then finally for the bottoms, I found nine pairs of Nike joggers, all brand new with tags. I think they're from 2013, I think the tag says. Yeah, 2013, um, all the gray ones are. And then the black ones, I think are a little bit younger. They're from 2017. These are the black ones from 2017. They are cuffed. I think he was asking 12 pound a piece. And then I managed to get them down to nine or 10 pound per piece if I bought them all. Um, I thought it was pretty fair because they're all brand new with tags. I can just make one listing for each color on Depop and then just multiple sizes. So a pretty easy thing to list and should be really easy to do on Depop. Then we got the jumpers and sweatshirts. The first one is this V-neck Jaguar one. Um, I want to say 
it's at least 90s. I think it's 90s, uh, but it is made in England. It's got one of them sort of really cheapy sort of stick on tags, uh, but it's just got that really nice embroidery there. I paid one pound for that. Hopefully get 15 to 20. Then we've got a North Face Fleece quarter zip jumper. I paid five pound for that. Again, that's probably 20 to 25. Then I found a women's, I think it's women's um, Reebok Gillet. It's just got that little 3M hit on the chest there. I think it is women's, yeah, UK 14, uh, but that'll fit a men's easily. I just really like the color of it and I paid a pound for that one. Then the final sweatshirt that I found is this Salomon one, fully embroidered, I think that's how you pronounce it, Salomon. Um, but that's the sweatshirt. It's not official, hasn't got a tag or anything like that. Um, I think it was just made in like a local sort of printing embroidery shop. I got this sweatshirt and then a load of t-shirts from a clearance van. They had like a load of like skiing bits out. Um, loads of skis and then they had like a whole bag of just skiing gear like jumpers t-shirts all of that um, but i'll show you the t-shirts now and then we'll finish off with the burberry bits these are the t-shirts that i got with that sweatshirt it's just got that on the front and then it's got a huge hit on the back and they are long sleeve of course uh, but i paid a pound for them each probably keep one for myself they're just really cool um super clean and i think they are dead stock because they're just not cracked or worn at all uh, but that's the other one then I got these two Nike tees that I got with the Jordans and the Air Forces. Obviously on the early 2000s tag. I paid a pound each on them. This one's just got a big embroidered air. It has got a bit of paint on it, unfortunately, but I paid a pound for it. Hopefully I can fix it. And then this is the other one that I got, again, for a pound. It's just got that full embroidery on the chest there, the Air and the Nike, again, on the 2000s tag. Next, I found this Demi Lovato band t-shirt from 2012. Uh, I paid for three i think i paid three pound on it um just got her on the front and then all the sort of tour places that she went i'm not sure if that's a us tour yeah that looks like a us tour uh, but i paid three pound for that that'll probably be a classic in like 20 years time these final three t-shirts that i got i got them in a deal uh, that they were doing which was three t-shirts for five pound this first one was a bit of a stock filler because i only really wanted the last two uh but the first one is this fa cup budweiser t-shirt it's just got that hit on the front and then the big back spell out Budweiser. This next one's good, it is dated to 1996. Um, obviously it's like a bit of a play on Nike, uh, but it's a Simpsons t-shirt. Just that big print on the front. It is on one of those US tees tags, um, but it's just one of them sort of market stall specials, I think. And then the final t-shirt that I found is the classic South Park tee that everyone seems to have. Oh my God, they kill Kenny on the JT's tag, I think it was. Yeah, that's the JT's tag there, um, but just a really nice print. Again, pretty much flawless, hasn't been used or cracked. This one's dated to 1998, um, whether that's actually where it's from or they've just copyrighted the print. Finally, we're getting on to the four Burberry items that I got. Um, three of them I got together, and then this one that I'm gonna show you now, I got with the DNG shorts that I showed you. This is the first one on the old Burberry's tag. Uh, so it's a 90s piece, full Nova check lining. Uh, I think it's more of a women's one. It's a bit of a shorter sort of trench, uh, but I paid 60 or 70 for this and the DNG shorts. Um, so it should be a nice bit of money on that. Finally, these are the three that I got together. There's two trenches and then one sort of Harrington jacket. I got them from, it wasn't really a dealer. He was a guy who was selling sort of like sewing stuff. So he had like, like boxes of like zips, boxes of like buttons. And then he had these three jackets hanging up. Uh, first one is just a long Burberry trench coat on the old Burberry's tag. Again, Novacek lining. I think you hear in the video, he was asking for 50 pound a piece and then I offered, I think 130 and then he said 135, um, which I thought was pretty fair. If I sell one of these trench coats for around 100, 110, um, that'll pay for nearly all of them. And then the rest of it's basically profit, but this is the other trench coat. Again, the same one, just sort of Burberry's tag full Nova check lining, just a long sort of trench. And then this is the final jacket that I got. It is a nice sort of Harrington jacket. Again, full Nova check lining, but this one is brand new with tags. I think this one's just Burberry. So it's like an early 2000s one. Um, that's the tag there. I'll unzip it now and show you the actual inner lining. That's the inside of it, just the full Nova check. I'm not too sure what these go for now, but I haven't had a Burberry Harrington in for over a year now, I think. Uh, but this one's brand new with tags, so should be able to charge a little bit more on Depop. All of this stuff will be on my Depop in the next couple of weeks, hopefully. Um, probably going to keep a couple of the t-shirts. And yeah, I think that's it for what I've got to show you guys. Um, everything that I found today. Please make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new here. Follow my Instagram and my Depop. Message me on my Instagram if you are interested in wholesale. 
Um, I'll put one of the wholesale videos up there. My latest one that I dropped last weekend. And yeah, if you are interested in any of this stuff, message me on Instagram or just wait till it goes on for my default, um, which it should be up in the next two, three weeks. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, all of that. Watch my past videos. Um, yeah, peace.